So on a more serious note, this is the real trash man. But um, I'm part of uh, a Facebook group uh, in my community, the town that I live in, and I saw a post on there with a woman that asked for uh, help for Christmas so she can give her, her kids a good Christmas. And a, a lot of people reached out to the lady and helped her out from what I saw, and that's awesome. Um, and it reminded me of an idea I came up with uh, last week. I'm trying to work with it with the company I work with. I don't know if anything's going to come of it, but uh, I'm a truck driver. I work for a trash company, and um, we throw away, you know, clothes, like decent clothes, not disgusting clothes. They're wearable. We throw away, you know, electronics, um, toys, shoes, hats, socks, you know, things that other people could use. Um, And... I tried to reach out to my supervisor and see if we could ask the customers to put those things down at the end of their driveway and me and maybe a few people could pick it up in a box truck and reach out to like uh, local homeless shelters or uh, maybe have someone go around in a truck to people on the street. If you know anyone like on the street in the town that you live in and just distribute it to those people who don't have anything. And uh, I haven't heard back on anything about that yet. But, you know, you can start in your own town. You know, this woman asked for help and everyone helped her. I would do it if I could. I work full time. I don't have the time to devote to it. But somebody, I know there's somebody out there that can organize something. We could nominate some local businesses, some local restaurants, family-owned restaurants that are struggling right now that can't put food on their table. Um, Nominate them. Crowdfund that restaurant to give... Um, you know, either a homeless shelter or, or families in the town that you live in a Christmas dinner or, you know, reach out to a local clothing shop and, you know, you could clothe a family or a, or a person that doesn't have those clothes. It's that easy. Um, it just, you got to do the legwork and I don't have the time to do it right now. Um, but I think it could be an awesome thing, you know? That's really cool that all those people helped that woman out. And everything sucks right now because the whole fucking world hates each other because of whatever. But when when I see something like that, it just gives you hope that people still have some, you know, compassion left in them. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe someone could do something like that. Just a thought.